And so that's why it's worth putting in the work. I think we'd be like really, really good friends. <laughs> And then we became so close so friends so fast. Trevor's personality is almost <laughs> identical to Cynthia's. Friendship Q&A! Yay! Yay! <laughs> you guys already know. Ashley, Trevor, Cynthia, 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 Tim. So you guys sent in some questions and I consolidated them. So we're going to go through five questions. First one, how do you guys know each other? Oof. Okay, yeah. So I know Ashley, she's my wife. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how do we know each other? How no, do we know each other? how do we all know oh. each other? So I met Tim when we were both in, in banking. So we were interns. This was our junior summer going into our senior year, so you know, pretty new to the club scene. Was in uh, I was at the Grand in San Francisco, and then you know I thought it was really cool. I was with all my fellow classmates, and then I see this guy rolling in in a vest, doesn't even belong at our at our table or or at our bank, but he's rolling in. Everyone's just looking at this guy, giving him all the attention. He's making friends with everyone. So I kind of give him like the dirty eye because he's just drinking all of our booze. I'm not gonna chip him at all. And then a year later, it turns out he, he ends up joining, joining the same bank. So we both worked at Goldman together. Uh, and then I remember, I still, I still have like this vivid memory of Tim, but then we went out one of the first nights during training. And then I remember I was just hammered. And then I was like, oh my like God. dude, I think we'd be like really, really good friends. Really? That's <laughs> yeah. what you said? That's yeah. so cute. And then we proceeded to just go out every single night during training. But yeah, we, we became fast friends. Yeah. So I knew Tim at the same time, yeah. probably 2014. Mm -hmm. Because um, they've been dating for since since we were in sophomore? college, our junior year, junior year of college. Yeah. Um, Go Bears! Go now. Bears. <laughs> Three Bears here. Yeah. I'm a bear. I'm a Washu bear. <laughs> oh, so they're also bears? Yeah. Oh, dang. Okay, so we're all bears. Um, <laughs> yeah, but then we didn't know each other until 2021. Yeah. Um, when we started dating. Yeah. And then that's when, obviously, Tim introduced me to his good friends, Trevor and Ashley. Yeah. And then we became so close friends. so fast. I know. Yeah. It's pretty crazy. I know. Not in just, yeah. like, three years. three years. But I feel like we got so close, like, within, like, how yeah. many years? Yeah, it was really quick. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so lucky. I feel so grateful that because of Tim, I got to meet Aww. some amazing <laughs> friends. Yeah. When do you think your friendship really took off? <laughs> Oh, I think we were all talking about that today. Yes. So the first time we all met, we went to dinner at Berkeley and we had a very, you know, kind of casual get to know each other. Like, obviously we're hitting it off, but it's not, that's not the moment that it took off. Yeah. The second time we hung out was just at some casual, like kind of house party gathering. It was pretty low key. Getting a little bit more familiar with like Cynthia, obviously to Trevor and Ashley as yeah. the newcomer to the group, but like also the four way dynamic, which I also think is important. And then when it really took off is when we went, uh, there was one weekend in San Francisco that all of us had nothing planned. And we started off with like Friday night drinks at the Beehive in the Mission. Shout out Beehive. Um, they used to live like a couple blocks from it. So they like to go there a lot. We went, we we're having a great time. And then from there, we decided to like spontaneously plan our whole weekend over the next 48 hours, which included getting table tables at YOLO oh that God. night because Ashley and I are obsessed with Mario, the R&B singer, and he happened to be in town. So we got tables like an hour before he came on and we had a great night there. And then the next night we bought tickets to Zed uh, at Bill Graham and it's sort of the stars just aligned. And then that's when we all became like, okay, this is going to be a fun crew. Yeah. So yeah. Really fun. Yeah. And then we just started hanging out all the time. Yeah. That. <laughs> that was like such a fun 24 hours. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Basically. yeah. Basically. Like hanging out hours. back to back. And I feel like it's just when you vibe with people, you just like, you can just connect yeah. so quickly and so instantly and Easily. time just flies. Yeah. And it's really special when you can yeah. find that. So now they live in Seattle. They used to live in San Francisco, but then they moved back to Seattle where they're from. So how has your friendship changed since you guys moved away? I think we just see each other less frequently, but I think the times that we see each other, it's like really quality time. Yeah. Like we're not just like getting coffee randomly. It's just like dedicated quality time. Yeah. And like 
yeah, catching up and like hanging out, weekend yeah. trips, all that kind of stuff. I feel like when you guys were still living in San Francisco, we were pretty much hanging out like Friday, Saturday, yeah. at least once a week. And then we would all get dinner and then go, all go out, have fun. But then I feel like since you guys have moved away, I feel like almost like even more connected with you guys because I think our friendship has deepened over yeah, time. I think there's more depth. Yeah, yeah. And then I feel like all the trips that we do together, which we'll talk about in a little bit, I think, like you said, it is truly like quality yeah. time and we're really prioritizing each other. And it's something that like we both put a lot of effort into. Yeah, I'd say. <laughs> When we first started hanging out, I mean, it'd be until like 5 a.m. every single time. <laughs> but it wasn't knowing that we were moving away. It like time would just fly. It's not like we're intentionally just trying to pull an all-nighter. It just happens. Uh, Cynthia and Ashley, they're more regular with like texting, keeping each other up to date. Tim and I are more like in people, in or person. in person, mm. in person people. So I mean, we'll send like the occasional text. We'll like shit talk each other about football, but. <laughs> When we're in person, that's where you're just like, dude, this is like awesome. Like we have to make the most of it. And we definitely do. And we're definitely gonna do it tonight too. <laughs> oh, God. We're in San Diego, by the way. <laughs> uh, I yeah. would also say something about our relationship that's really unique is that it's, so Trevor and Ashley have been together for 11 years. Cynthia and I have only been together for two and a half, three, but their personalities are super compatible. They're a couple that we very much look up to in terms of their love and their relationship. But it's also funny because Trevor's personality is almost <laughs> identical to Cynthia's. And then me and Ash also pretty much agree on how the world spins and every, like pretty much everything else, like in terms of just how we think and how we're wired. And so when it comes to like compatibility, like that means Cynthia and I are also super compatible, just like them, of course. But then, but then you have like a Trevor yeah. and an Ashley who are super <laughs> compatible, and then you have like an Ashley and a Trevor who are super <laughs> compatible. And so it's it's I think the strength of our relationship and the reason why we're, you're hearing us say that it's even gotten stronger when they've moved yeah. away is because one, we put in the time and effort, and we we carve out the the quality time together. But two, I think it's just this like perfect blend of compatibility not just amongst the individual couples but amongst like almost like a sort of like any single yeah. line like you know Ashley and I agree on things yeah. me and Trevor are obviously like best friends and then Cynthia and Ashley have become best friends yeah. and super like sister like you know friends overnight okay next question how do you guys stay in touch and how do you create new memories I think we're always texting. yeah I think <laughs> naturally as girls yeah. you just text about yeah, anything. anything yeah so like you you know everything that's going on in my life yeah i, I know everything that's yeah. going on in your life yeah. we facetime yeah we master master together yeah <laughs> i think that's something that's yeah. really unique and a lot of people when they see me post that on instagram or something people are like oh my god that's so <laughs> cute that you guys <laughs> do that but every monday when the bachelor bachelorette bachelor in paradise is on we'll facetime each other and watch like at least an hour yeah. or so together if not the whole thing yeah. because we both love the bachelor <laughs> franchise um when you guys were living here did we do it in person yeah i think a, a few, few times, times right yeah, yeah. so that was really fun yeah. yeah so we continue to do that and usually like the first 30 minutes we'll like catch up and then we'll like speed through the, yeah. the commercial yeah. and stuff, which yeah. is great. And they do it like it's like Sunday in church, like unless, <laughs> yeah. there's, unless there's like a big life event or a big work thing that cannot be moved. Yeah. They're always facing each, you know, each other Monday night or sometimes a bachelor comes on Tuesday night. Yeah. Yeah. But like whatever the week we know. is. Like, yeah. it's, like, yeah. it's like clockwork. So I think that's yeah. important to have that consistency. Well, I, I think the good thing about our friendship at least is there's initiative on both sides mm -hmm. it doesn't feel like one side is always like hey tim said that you want to hang out like should we find a ship together like you guys initiate it too because i think if you feel like you're long distance now if you feel like you're not initiating then maybe you're not a priority anymore mm -hmm. so if you feel it from both sides mm -hmm. then you can just keep it going but i think it's important to actually like sometimes like a offer to hang out or do a trip is somewhat of like an empty invitation it's like oh yeah we should hang out sometime or like we should catch up sometime mm -hmm. but if you actually like put it into motion and i just say like okay what these are the dates that we're, when we are free when are you free mm -hmm. to actually put it into motion dude i always mean it when i want to hang out yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you, guys always mean it for sure. well, you, you want to hang out 
24-7. And I guess going off of Trevor's point, like, when we make a plan to hang out, like, we really, and I think this goes back to the question of, like, how we create new memories. Like, we make those plans. We make plans for trips. And, like, we think about whenever you guys are in the bay, like, obviously, you're either staying with us or, like, we're definitely doing things together. And then we try to think of, like, opportunities where if they're going somewhere already then maybe we can tag along yeah. or like san diego it's like okay we can't well we're all going to coachella together <laughs> we saw them in taiwan and i feel like you know we were going to taiwan and then you guys we obviously yeah. wanted you guys to join and i think you guys kind of took it upon yourselves to be like you know what like yeah why don't we yeah. go to taiwan yeah, and it's such a cool thing to do yeah together yeah and, like, be there together yeah so i think like that was so, I don't know, it's just such a mutual thing. Yeah. And it just feels really nice when you know that both parties like prioritize each other. But basically the thought process for San Diego was, okay, we saw each other in Taiwan. And then the next time we're seeing each other is Coachella. Yeah, just like April. four months Four apart. months apart. And that's too long. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're like, okay, we have something in between. Yeah. And then, then it's like, okay, you work out based on everyone's schedules. Okay, what weekend works? Where do we want to go? And then you make it happen, yeah. right? It's fun to go to a new city. And this trip came together in terms of planning like 10 days ago. Yeah. Or like less than two <laughs> weeks ago. Awesome. Yeah. But it's also it. like, yeah, like yeah. Trevor said, it's just like we, someone threw out an idea and then someone threw out dates. And then before you knew it, we had an Airbnb and then flights yeah. and then we're, you know, we're, yeah, we planned yeah. it probably within like a 20 hour period yeah. and then we we're just all set to do it a couple of weeks down the line. I also think like you guys are such good planners and I feel like we need to get better at that. Mm -hmm. But I think something that you guys always do and you is like you guys go ahead and like take the initiative, make the plans if we're not responding as fast or like we're not as good <laughs> planners. Last question because we got to go to dinner. <laughs> Any last tips for people in long distance friendships? Put in the work! Yeah, <laughs> put in the work. I think as you get older too, I think when you're in college, you have all your friends around you. That's mm -hmm. probably the last time you'll ever have that. Yeah. But as people do move away, I think it's it's like an interesting opportunity. Wait, yeah. yeah, it's an interesting opportunity to reevaluate re that friendship too. Because I think if you all of a sudden forget to reach out to them, ask them how they're doing, if they forget to reach out to you, then maybe it's a signal that this friendship might not be one that you want to hold on to. So I think sometimes people just hold on to friendship just for just like history, knowing, yeah, history mm -hmm. knowing someone for too long. But as we get older, we just have to get deeper with the friendships that we do. Yeah. Have. And it shouldn't be hard. Yeah. You should want to. Yeah. Enough, right? yeah. It shouldn't be like you're forcing yourself. To yeah. Effort. Yeah. I think um, as adults or post-college, like you, we all know each other much more now than we did in college. And like the people that you maintain relationships with, it's not just because you're in the same class as them. It's not because you're in the same dorm. It's not like a matter of circumstance. And you also know yourself enough where when it clicks, it really clicks. Mm -hmm. And then that's why like Ashley and Cynthia could be like as close as sisters essentially within less than a year. Mm -hmm. And once you feel that with somebody or a group of people or whoever it may be, whether it's in the city that you live in or a long distance mm -hmm. friendship, like you just have to keep pursuing that because you know too, like it's not every day when you find sort of that level of connection. Mm -hmm. And so that's why it's worth putting in the work. That's why it's put, worth putting in the time. That's why it's worth going on like fun trips together and carving <laughs> that out of your schedule and making that a priority because you know, whether they live down the hall from you or in the same, on the same block or in the same city or, you know, a three hour flight away, it's, these are the types of people that you want in your life and that's the type of people that you want to pursue and put in the work with. I think one last thing is we've been talking about a lot of like bigger things like trips and stuff, but I think um, even like small things day to day that you can send like little photos or like on Instagram anytime I see anything <laughs> that reminds me of Ash, I'll send it over. And I know like Tim sometimes he'll like think of Trevor and then he'll take a photo or send him a text. It's like those things just- Or anytime like, the Niners are losing, I know Trevor's about to text me. <laughs> <laughs> like staying connected, anytime you think of the other person, just like send that text, send that photo, because that little gesture can mean so much and go such a long way. Yeah. yeah. Okay, you're done. We're done. You guys